Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Dear Imus of the Morning, begins a short note I'd like to share with you. There are places I remember all my life through, Imus. Though some have changed, some forever, not for better, some have gone and some remain. Nevertheless, I don't think I'll ever forget the good times we had at the Battle of the Bands at the Brooklyn Fox, especially when... Jackie told me she was pregnant, and I hit her in the mouth with my fruit punch. Thanks for bringing back all those memories. I miss sincerely, Mary the K. <laughs> hey, man, get over to Shoe Town, because Shoe Town's got it all together for you. You know those far-out Bridgetown flood shoes, like Mary the K wears, and, you know, other weird folks? Well, boutiques sell them for up to $30. Shoe Town's got them. Why don't you get ready for this? Shoe Town's got the very same Bridgetown floods for twelve eighty-eight. You know shoes I'm talking about, those dynamite two-tone and multicolored jobs, and beige, brown, navy, pink, yellow, and all, lots of others. The smoothest leathers, the richest suede, and the brightest patents with the chunkiest stacked high heels going. It. I, these shoes are outrageous. And instead of laying out up to $30 at some big department store or boutique, you can pay just twelve eighty-eight at Shoe Town. Now, now, now listen to this. These are first quality Bridgetown floods. Oh, yes, right. Got the name right in there. In sizes for men, just twelve eighty-eight, And they're waiting for you only at the Shoe Town in Lawrence, Long Island. 348 Rockaway Turnpike, or the Shoe Town in Oceanside, Long Island, 3500 Long Beach Road. But you better get over to Oceanside or Lawrence, Long Island, Shoe Town's fast. At Shoe Town's price of 1288 to Bridgetown floods are going to fly. It's time for Crazy Bob, boys and girls, yeah. with another exciting yeah. story. Thank you, Bob. Portnoy, hi, boys and girls. Today's story is entitled Mary Poppins, and it goes something like this. <laughs> Once upon a time in jolly old England, before all the funny business about the common market and the nasty little affair with Princess Margaret and the Shetland Pony, there was a family that had a mommy and a daddy and a cute little boy and a cute little girl. But the two cute little kids was spoiled rotten and drove away one nanny after another. Then one day, a man from the Drug Rehabilitation Center came by the house and said he had a girl who could take wonderful care of the children. Her name was Mary Poppins. She was a wonderful nanny and taught the children how to behave. In fact, almost overnight, the children's whole personalities changed, and instead of fighting over their toys, they sat around and talking about peace and love and speculating on where Janis Joplin and Jimi Hendrix went. But alas, boys and girls, Mary Poppins had to leave because she got a big movie part in The Sound of Music. Years later, the parents of the two adorable children learned that Mary had been giving the kids 600 cc's of acid every day. Everyone lived happily ever after. The adorable little girl is now a topless waitress in San Francisco, and the adorable little boy is a planter sitting on a windowsill somewhere in Phoenix, Arizona. Thank you, Crazy Bob. Yeah. Tune in again next time, boys and girls, when Crazy Bob tells us about the time he swallowed a prune pit. In El Paso, during Passover. I must in the morning. 719 in New York. WNBC, former soul boss hit band. Last night, as I got home, about a half past ten. I got a Maria. I press it to my wife. Send a copy to my lawyer. I'll take a R. Gotta have a new life. Take a letter, Maria R.B. Green. Take a letter. It's 721 at WNBC. I am the great Imus of the morning. WNBC weather just ahead. Imus of the morning and Lily Tomlin. Going to be cloudy, windy, and cold today with just a chance of occasional snow flurries. High near 40, low tonight near 30 in Manhattan. Now it's 33 degrees. Got track stuff for you. I mean, westbound cross Bronx Expressway has a large pothole in the center lane just for the Bronx River Parkway. Squeeze left and right. Do men dress for women or sometimes like them or for themselves? It really doesn't matter when the shirt is a knit with Selenese Arnell triacetate. Because Arnell shirts and Arnell knits are the men's shirts women can enjoy, too. You can hear it all over town. That's right, I wear Arnell shirts. In cabs and trains, in offices, over lunch, in motels, from wives and friends and secretaries, even clients. What is it? Who makes it? Where do you get it? You look just great. Arnell knits go with so many compliments. Oh, no, wait a minute. I'm going to start this over again. Even clients... And they would say stuff like, what is it? Who makes it? Where did you get it? You look just great. Arnell Nitz gets so many compliments, it's almost embarrassing. I didn't tell him I could read when I came here. I said I'd come in here and tear this place up, which is what I have done. Because knit shirts with Arnell, and I have about 
hour and a half to run on my career. Because knit shirts with Arnell, are you kidding, are the pulse of fashion. The colors run deep and rich. I happen to have an Arnell shirt on right at this very moment. Now, you know I wouldn't tell you that unless I really did. And I do have a shirt on. I don't know. Can you see the... I'd let Dave look at the label in the back, but he'd probably kiss me on the neck. <laughs> Just watch him. Just Polish engineers. The patterns are slightly spectacular. Fine fashion prints, eye-catching plaids, look again solid. That's what they see. But the man inside the shirt not only knows that he looks good, he knows that he feels good. Because knits with Arnell are a sensuous, soft skin experience. Come on. Machine washable to boot. No wonder they're the shirts that women like next to men. And you can see and touch Arrow shirts at fine stores everywhere. You see, Arnell, the Arnell fabric is in a lot of leading shirts. In fact, all, most of all the famous brands. And Celanese Arnell was the, was the first double knit fabric that, that they used. And then some other dudes with the cheap stuff jumped in on the scene. But Arnell is back on the case. And you get on the case with Arnell. In arrow shirts that find stores everywhere. At Barney's, we believe that when you ask a person to travel to the corner of 7th Avenue and 17th Street, you should pay him back. And that's exactly what we do. For instance, if you drive down to Barney's, you'll find two free parking lots. And when you walk in the front door, you'll be greeted by a hostess who gives you a nice smile as well as directions. And if you come down to Barney's now, instead of finding the usual Barney's values, you'll find some very unusual Barney's values. In the Madison shop, for instance, you'll find Hart, Schaffner, and Mark's suits, a $140 to $155 value, now $110. Or Stanley Blacker sports jackets, a $65 to $75 value for $45. You'll even find Lanham suits, a $165 to $175 value for $130. You'll find values like these in all 21 shops in both the America and International houses. We're open from 9 to 9.30, and of course, alterations are free. So come down to Barney's at 7th Avenue and 17th Street. You go out of your way to get here. We've got to pay you back. 725 at WNBC. I am I'm Miss in the Morning on WNBC, among other things. And now I'm Miss in the Morning and Lily Tomlin in front of your local grammar school. That's a car. Hi, little girl. How are you? What? You, you go to school here? Yeah, this is my school. <clears throat> uh, waiting for the bus? No, I'm walking home. How far do you live? I live up the street. Did you, <clears throat> did you have lunch today? Yeah, I had lunch. I had a hamster sandwich. A hamster sandwich? Yeah. I got some nice candy here in the car. Yeah, I'll stick your hand out the window and let me see. How about that? Hershey. Hershey. Do you have any Rolaids? <clears throat> no, no, I don't, little girl. I got Hershey. Old people always eat old Rolaids for candy. Well, I'm, I'm not really old. I just, uh, <clears throat> I mean, I'm very virile. <laughs> How old are you? A five and a half. Oh, that's wonderful. I, I love little five and a half year old girls. Hey, you know, you're here every day after school. Nancy Scopey said you are a funny man. Well, I showed her showed her my dead bird. Yeah? Yeah. Would you like to see it? Why don't you bury it? I think I might. I must in the morning. Funny face, don't leave me. Funny face, believe me. My whole world's wrapped up in Hoss Hick, bound from Tana Fargo. Funny face. It's 729 at WNBC. I am Imus in the morning. Imus in the morning. Los Angeles. Regular round trip fare, $336. American Airlines sale price, $179.95. Phoenix. Regular round trip fare, $294. American sale price, $179.95. Do you have friends or relatives you'd like to see again? A grandchild you've never seen? American's great airfare sale is now effective, and from all cities served by American, there are savings, almost 50% in many cases. Call us or a travel agent and find out how, when, and where you can go. Reservations will not be taken after November 30th. December 7th is the last departure day. American's great airfare sale. If you don't go now, when? San Francisco. Regular price, $336. For you. 
$179.95. Take advantage of these great savings available to 14 cities. But hurry, you must buy your ticket a week in advance. Only 16 shopping days left. I am Ivis in the morning. I'm on a case. This is WNBC 66 in New York City. The news is brought to you by the Dime Savings Bank of New York. Here with the news, Bruiser McCord. Bruiser? Thank you, Don. 33 degrees at 730. A wide area stretching from the Ohio Valley into New England has been hit by heavy drifting snow and freezing rain. A new storm in the west has brought heavy snow warnings for parts of the Rocky Mountain region, including parts of Colorado, Wyoming, and Arizona. Meanwhile, thousands of flood victims are returning to their water-soaked homes in Michigan and Ohio after a storm lashed the shorelines of Lakes Erie and Huron. Skiers giggled as motorists swore yesterday as a record-breaking snowstorm caused innumerable fender benders and traffic jams upstate and in western New York, depositing 14 inches of snow at the airport in Albany and a foot in higher elevations in the southern tier. Weatherman said several records fell by the, because of the early morning's early season storm. The gale that swept through the metropolitan area yesterday, second in six days, brought the total precipitation this year in the metropolitan area to just an inch or so under the 1903 wettest year ever record here of 58 and 32 hundredths inches. Somebody does not like Brooklyn dentist Saul Bergman. A bomb blew up outside his Bath Beach home this morning, and it's not the first time it's happened. Last April, somebody threw a hand grenade at his home that shattered windows and shook the neighborhood. So far, investigators have been unable to answer the question, why? A three-alarm fire raged through a restaurant, coffee shop, and clothing store on Jamaica Avenue in Queens this morning. Three of 75 firemen who brought the flames under control had to be treated for effects of smoke inhalation. The president of the Uniformed Firefighters Union, Michael May, is scheduled to speak at a rally this morning protesting the cut of services or relocation of fire companies. Yesterday, May, along with Queensboro President Donald Manis, urged the city to cancel its plans to discontinue a far rockaway fire company. May said the reason for the move was money. All indications that the, the city indicates that the, the overall problem, of course, is the dollars. That they're broke and uh, they have to take whatever measures and whatever means necessary to try and uh, balance a budget. But they're balancing with the lives of people and we think that's a dangerous thing with an emergency service. The department has indicated and uh, originally there was an all if the allocations were not forthcoming that they would close as much as 20 firehouses. Uh, it's almost unconceivable that they would even think in this area, but obviously since they've already indicated that they're going to close six, certainly the thoughts are there. The fire department had announced that it planned to close a half dozen fire engine companies and relocate seven others to make the most efficient use of its resources. The WNBC News time is 7.34. And now... Money-saving news from the Dime Savings Bank of New York. How would your loved ones be provided for if something happened to you? Well, when you have a trust savings account at the Dime Savings Bank of New York, you simply name on the account those you want to provide for. Then if misfortune strikes, and it certainly will, the proceeds are payable to those that you've named. Now, I have suggested a, a unique little thing you can do, and that is to play relative roulette. In that, each week... On, you, you simply name on the account someone in your family, and then you change it each week. And then one week it may be, you know, Margaret may luck out, or someone, or, or old Uncle Bob, or one of the kids. Why, did he go, why didn't he go in my week? <laughs> Meanwhile, you enjoy all the advantages of a regular dime savings account to deposit and withdraw as you please at the highest bank rate on savings allowed. Money at the dime doubles in less than 14 years before taxes. Based on the dime's latest dividend of 5% a year, paid from day of deposit compounded continuously, earning an annual yield of 5.20%. Yes, with a trust savings account at the dime, you make your savings do... No, you make your savings dollars do two jobs for you. For postage free forms to open your dime account, write Dime Savings, WNBC Radio, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, New York, 10020. Join the biggest savings bank family in town. The Dime Savings Bank of New York, member FDIC. Perhaps you would like to know, Mr. McCord, that on your trust account, this is my week. Once again, Charles McCord. Charles? Thank you, Don. In sports, the Knicks notched their 14th victory in their last 17 outings last night in a game brought to you exclusively on radio by WNBC. With more on the contest, here's Marv Albert. Last night at Madison Square Garden, in the game heard here on WNBC, the Knicks defeated the Phoenix Suns 103-97 to snap the Phoenix win streak at five. And the Knicks did it with a combination of Willis Reed and rookie John Ginelli replacing the injured Jerry Lucas. They did well, although Willis admits that his timing is still way off. 
I mean, it's the same thing. I haven't had having any pain in my knee, as far as that's concerned. But you know, right, as far as I'm right now, my time's a little off. Other than that, I think that you know, my offensive game because my time is a little off. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. Do you feel that it is coming back? That you're making steady progress now? Yes, I do. I, you know, I'm surprised. I mean, I'm not surprised at things, and I'm pleased with my progress. And at this point, you know, defensively, I'm doing some things. I'm helping out. You know, things like that, which I got to do. At you know, because you know, we got good offensive ball players on the court now. Bradley had 30 tonight, and Frazier had 32. You know, got guys in score the basketball, and need somebody to plug up the middle on occasion and try to get the ball off the board and set some picks for them. New York Nick captain Willis Reed, the Knicks defeating the Phoenix Suns last night at the Garden, 103-97. Marv Albert, WNBC Sports. In the National Hockey League, Montreal whipped the New York Islanders 7-2. The Rangers were idle last night, will be, but will be on the ice at the Garden facing Philadelphia this evening in a game that will be brought to you by Radio 66. The weather mostly cloudy, windy, and cold today, with just a chance of occasional snow flurries, the high around 40. Clearing, windy, and quite cold tonight, the low in the upper 20s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and cool, the high in the middle 40s. Right now, it's 33 degrees. This is Charles McCord, WNBC News. I rest in the morning. I have a good idea, Charles. Why don't we let Willis read the news and you play basketball? It is 7.37. And nobody went me see Austin Roberts. Something wrong with me. Something's wrong with me. Number 60 record, New York. Out of my mind. I see your face and everything I do. 